Okay, this is um, an application I developed uh, probably back in about 2007. And what it was for is for an interlocking paver company, um, Abbotsford Concrete is their name, and what they did was they manufactured interlocking pavers. So what they wanted was an application for a, a client, let's say an architect or something, that wanted to uh, have be, get familiar with their products and the different patterns that they could create. Interlocking pavers are something that you might see when you go to the grocery store. Uh, look down at the ground and you'll see uh, nice uh, walkways and patterns um, created with a series of interlocking bricks. And that's what this company manufactured. Okay, so they had the different types of products. Their standard series with different dimensions. So this one was 8 and 7 eighths by 8 and 7 eighths. They called that their double standard. A single standard was four and seven sixteenths by eight and seven eighths, and a half standard again, different dimensions, and a three to one ratio as well. Okay, so when you go ahead and pick your product, okay, you can then come down here and determine what kind of a complexity you want for your um, your hatch pattern. Now, all these hatch patterns were created by me. So they are exactly what you would get if you were to draw the each component and lay them out one by one. Okay, so this is a detailed view of an offset runner bond pattern in imperial units using their standard paver. That's the only uh, paver that you can use with their runner bond. Okay, unless it says so in the pattern name, okay? So whatever you pick up here, it doesn't have an effect on the patterns. This is all the different patterns you can have. So we have a 45 degree herringbone, okay? Go to model space and do a zoom extents. And you'll see that this is a detailed version of a 45 degree herringbone, okay? If I wanna change that to light, you'll see that your pattern will be a lot less busy, but you won't have as much detail. So there is a bit of uh, flexibility with the program and you're able to choose whatever you like. Let's go to different series, Old Country Stone, three different pavers in that series. Legend one and two, these should start to look very familiar for you. You've probably seen that one before. Legend two is basically just two of those put together and you'll recognize it from the company's logo. Universal, that one's definitely going to look very familiar for you. And again down here we've got a list of the different patterns that you can create with the application. Okay, so let's say we like that pattern right there. We wanted to go ahead and use it on this product right here. Go ahead and click Hatch. Pick points, go ahead and pick the points, hit enter, preview, and that's exactly what our hatch would look like. Okay, we zoom in on that, you can see, it looks pretty good. Again, um, this is just the, uh, the hatch command, so. If I wanted to, I could go in here and uh, pick a different pattern if I knew what they na their names are, okay, so. I want to pick the uh, Legend 45 degree hatch pattern, the light version, click OK, and there we've got that. Okay. okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this little uh, mini video of what kind of applications you can create with AutoCAD with Visual Basic. Thank you very much.